We begin tonight with breaking news. Two major shooting investigations, one of them at the U.S. Census Bureau headquarters in Maryland. We are learning that shooting may be connected to a second shooting at 11th and 8th Street in Northeast. We have a team of reporters on the scene right now covering this breaking news. We begin tonight with Fox 5's Alexander Lamone and Rick Boone. Alex, we understand D.C.'s police chief just briefed you. What do you know? Well, Sean, to hear Police Chief Kathy Lanier describe it, it was a wild, wild chase with several shootouts between an armed suspect and officers. Take a look at the scene here on 8th Street where there are many restaurants and people on a busy night. Well, this is where it all ended. You can see investigators still here on the scene. Three people shot, including a security officer, a police officer, and that armed suspect. But let me take you back to the beginning of the night. This all started around 5.30 p.m. when police got a report of an armed kidnapping in the area of 3rd Street and T. They believe it was a domestic kidnapping. Then around 6 p.m., a security guard was shot at the Census Bureau. We understand he approached the car because it matched the description of that earlier kidnapping. Then the suspect, according to the police chief, the suspect shot the security officer at the Census Bureau and took off again. The, office, the security officer that was shot is in serious condition, we're told. After that shooting, the suspect took off again. That's when D.C. police got involved in this crazy chase with several shootouts. Listen to what police chief Kathy Lanier said happened next. Um, it is next picked up in the 7th Police District in, in Washington, D.C. by the 7th District officers. Uh, they get behind a car on Bruce Place, southeast, and there are shots fired from the suspect's car at the police car. That pursuit continues to 3rd and K Street uh, northeast. And uh, again, at 3rd and K Street northeast, we know that there are shots fired from the suspect's car at the police cars that are pursuing. Um, that pursuit continues uh, to where we are now, around the area of 11th and 8th Street Northeast. We've seen at least 60 cop cars. Dang. They rode, they rode right past. I work right here at Liberty, so they came down flying. They came down this way, chased the guy, he hit the corner. They chased him down. And that was a witness you just heard from talking about how police officers swarmed this area when the chase finally came to an end when there was another shootout here on H Street and also a crash. Now, police chief Kathy Lanier says that the officer that was shot here on this scene was a sergeant and then the suspect was also shot. We don't know at what point he was hit, but according to the chief, both were taken from the scene and they were conscious and breathing. But, you know, witnesses that we talked to gave a little bit of a different story. Many people that we talked to said they thought that the suspect looked like he was dead. Now, many of those people didn't want to speak on camera. We asked the chief about that because those witnesses also said that it appeared the suspect was shot in the head. She, however, would not confirm the details of what, where on their body the suspect nor the police officer were shot. But uh, we will hear from another witness coming up tonight at 1030. Sean? Alex, the, the details are still coming in, so they're a bit confusing tonight. Let me go over this uh, briefly. You said there was an officer who was hit there at the scene. You called the person a sergeant. Is that a D.C. police sergeant who was hurt? Yes, it's a D.C. police sergeant who, um, you know, there were several shootouts along the way. I'm not sure when exactly he was hit, but this is where he was taken from the scene to a local hospital. He and the suspect were both taken from here. All right, and also let me ask you about the kidnapping victim. Do we have an update on the victim's condition? Yes, well, we don't know if uh, that victim was hurt, but the police chief said that victim was located right around the time that this uh, scene was wrapping up, you know, after the shooting happened and the crash happened here. So that victim has been located and from what the police chief said appears to be okay. All right, Alexandra Lamone, thank you. We're